Okay, hello everyone. Here's Aroslav from uh, bestwebconsulting.com and I would like to uh, share some information uh, about the um, tool called uh, Web Page Maker. Uh, okay, so I will I'll turn it on. Okay, so uh, just a brief information Web Page Maker is a software that was designed, uh, I would say, for uh, real beginners. Uh, or for people that would like to uh, create your uh, website very easily and uh, and also very quickly, because this is this is a tool that uh, has uh, I would say limited or basic uh, functionality that you really need for uh, creating a site. Okay, so. Uh, just uh, brief information about the navigation bar up there. You have the really standard buttons like file, edit, page, uh, insert. You can insert objects uh, either from uh, your library or uh, from a uh, library that is provided by the software uh, producer. Then you of course you can insert shapes like uh, rectangle, round rectangle, and etc. Navigation bar. The navigation bar. I would say that they are not really modern, but uh, this is just an example, and this is just a template what you can use. And for for those of you who really want to uh, have just a, a really easy website, then it's usable. Okay, uh, we will get to this later. Uh, of course, you can create hyperlinks, bookmarks, tables. Uh, you can also upload or create, uh, no, create, uh, upload uh, flash, flash movies, videos, slideshows, etc. You have different forms that you can use uh, for your web page. Basically, everything works uh, on the principle. Uh, drag and drop so you don't have to be HTML expert okay in the format tab uh, you you have the possibility to change formats of I don't know if your uh, fonts uh, or uh, page properties etc in arrange tape uh, tab you have uh, I would say the navigation options uh, where you can uh, make some adjustment uh, in alignment session or you know you can play with the objects with bringing them to front or back uh, group the objects when you would like to have the object fix that uh, that it's not moving while you're working on uh, your site so you can uh, you know you can lock the object and so on. Okay, and in tools you have options and uh, basically this is very simple save all images files in the relative folders you know uh, and of course help tab. But let me uh, let me start of course uh, then, then uh, I forgot to talk about uh, a little bit about these icons which is basically uh, Everything what is also in the very top navigation bar, uh, you have the icon for image inserting, navigation bar inserting, uh, playing with the shapes. You can insert the shapes. This is uh, for uh, color or background changing color, hyperlinks, and uh, this this uh, button is used for for that page preview where actually the page you created is uh, open in the browser and you can see how you do and the last one is uh, is the tab for publishing your site where you uh, insert the publishing destination so it means your domain and uh, you use other options there and you publish your site on the very right side uh, area here you can see a site content uh, which is basically I would say the outline of your website 
because as you probably may know, uh, every site contains more sites. So here you have uh, index site, and uh, you can create more, more, more. Okay. Okay. So let me show you. Some, let me show you some uh, uh, some things that you can do. Uh, okay. Let's let's start with an example. Uh, we'll okay. We will change the background color. Uh, you have either this sample of standard colors or you can go you know and uh, create your custom colors but I will stick with the let's say with the yellow one so immediately the background is changed to yellow and maybe you, you notice the grip uh, the grip is a good tool or good uh, thing that you can use during um, web page creation. Here is how it is switched on and off. Uh, okay, so let's put some uh, navigation bar here. Let's let's use these ones. You can, you know, change the number of the navigation bar. Of course, you can change uh, uh, the titles. Let's say. Uh, Home. Second one will be about us. I don't know. Uh, we have products and so it's contacts. contacts. Page number five. We just simply delete it. Okay. We just simply delete it. Uh, you can you can uh, always uh, assign to a different navigation bar a different site. It can be a site that is located somewhere on the web, or it can be an email address or a file on your computer, or it can be page uh, at your site at your web page. So I'll use that option. And I would say that it, that the, the target is the page two, for example. Okay, but let's not use it for home, but for tab about us. So and I use and I click the OK button. So okay, let's let's put it here. Let's put some uh, insert uh, insert. Uh, what we can use image let's use an image from the library so let's put a banner there nice cow curtain banner okay let's use this one okay. here you can see other options that uh, that can be inserted so you have uh, backgrounds you have banners you have bars and carton holiday general Wallets and of course clipboards, logos, which is it's very simple. But as I said, you can create your website. Okay, so let's increase. Let's uh, increase. Let's make it the banner bigger. Okay, we can insert the text by clicking insert, insert text. You have a little frame here. You double click on it. Sorry. You have to double click on uh, the text. Let's let's call it my funny <coughs> site. Okay. Make make the rectangle a little bit bigger. And you have uh, you can change the color. Also the Have it, I don't know, the red one. My funny site. Okay? Now, this is how you can work. You know, you can move the objects, you can move the object with your mouse or just uh, arrows, which is sometimes more accurate. And you can also uh, turn on the options, uh, which is here snap to the grid. So basically, 
uh, the objects on your sites are aligned automatically. Uh, okay, as I said, uh, this button is used for for uh, opening your site at your uh, browser, and this is how it looks. Okay. Uh, okay, we close it, and we are back here. What else? Publishing, as I said, publish destination page options, public current page, all pages, etc. Just write your domain and you're done. Okay, uh, let's uh, maybe check the... and that, No, no, that's probably it. Uh, you can play with this site, you can... You know, page 2 is empty, but let's, let's let me show you. Let's put some file from... Uh, okay, let's have a Facebook I can hear. Okay, and uh, let's do the preview thing. So this is this is a page second preview, but we have to try. What I wanted to show you is the, the index page. Okay, so we open the index page. Come on. Something is wrong. Okay, where's the index page? Okay, I'm sorry, but some of my put it at the end. So, okay, I, I edited the page number five, not the index page. So, let's let's do it quickly something for, or or you can you can actually put this page up. The index page, the index page. Okay, so let's let's pop, let's uh, see the preview of the index page. And uh, as we said, the badass is linked to uh, page number two. When you see it works, and uh, this is how you make your little funny web page. So, if you would like to see, if you would like to see some more videos or learn something about uh, web creation, creating uh, some, I would say, step, you want to know some step-by-step -step, uh, procedure how to create your website, uh, you can uh, visit us on uh, bestwebconsulting.com and we'll be more than happy to share information with you to to help you. Okay, so that's all from me. Uh, thank you very much for your patience. See you later. Bye bye.